came out and um, talk about his love for transgenders. Now he had did this um, interview interview on Glad probably about three months ago, and he was kind of talking then, and he had that sugary look in his eye, you know. They were very, you mean yeah, it was sugary. sugary. It, was a, it was a sugary look. It was a very moist look in his eye. The hell? It was sugary. It was really, really sugary. And I was like, hold on, play him? Hold on, play him? And so then he, then he has this thing where he comes out and he does this video on Instagram talking about how he loved transgenders and and all women and all of this stuff. But one of the things that was crazy, it was a girl in the comic section. And she said that Malik Yarbrough is not doing this because he want to. He's doing this because he was about to be outed. So the next day, the next day, this transgender name, Maria Lopez Ebony, said that Yarbrough... <laughs> <laughs> That's what I said with the name, right? That nigga don't want to know he want to be black yeah. or Hispanic. Yeah. But it came out and said that Yoba paid her for sex when she was just 13 years old. Now, this was back when he was on the show New York on the cover. So he was really on the cover. Uh, no, no, he really on the cover. He really was. But she said that he would sleep with her and, you know, she was underage and she was a prostitute. And he said she, he used to come down there all the time. And she said she knows it's other women out there that he uh, have slept with and done these things with. And let me tell you the, my, my problem with this. My problem with Malik, y'all, but it's not so much that he said he's attracted to transgender. That's your business, bro. But what I don't like is you trying to fool us. And you telling us that, yo, transgenders are women and they just the same. Nah, partner. When you sleep with a woman, you going over there for for JJ. When you going over there sleeping with with transgender, you going over there for Ping, bro. And I know this because Lil Maria Hepatito Bubba Lopez, Ebony, (laughs) she said that's what you was doing to her. She didn't say that you was penetrating. She said that you was salivating. She said you was down there Giving head, bro. But these guys, see, when we start talking about this push of an agenda, the agenda is to trying to force and shame scrape men to have sex with transgenders. And that's what he's trying to do here. He's trying to play that game. Like, oh, no, nah, I'm not gay. Nigga, please. Stop it, bro. And you was out there sleeping with little children. 13 years old. With little Mario Lopez. I mean, Maria Lopez. There's something wrong with you, man. Mario, come kick your ass. <laughs> but that's what you was doing. But you trying to put this pressure on men. That's the thing that they doing now. Trying to shame men for not wanting to have sex with transgenders. And he come out here with this foolishness. And he was, and, and you know... What was crazy, all of the people, soon he does this. Every time a black celebrity come out and and say that they like transgenders or they gay, man, everybody celebrate them, boy. Yeah, everybody yeah. celebrate them. And then this come out and everybody, yeah, oh, trans- let's chill. T- t- yeah, let's man. chill. Let, let, let's chill now. <laughs> man, he's seeing like he a bad dude. I know he supposed to do another interview with Big Tigger. And some other people for French Skin in the Morning, yeah, French Skin in the Morning. And he said some stuff on there. Was that it sugary? I didn't. I, well, I didn't. I guess there was another day that I didn't drive anywhere, so I didn't. And that should come on early in the morning. I don't gotta go nowhere early in the morning too many times. And people were criticizing him for the interview for some stuff that he had said. And uh, what did the dude person? Cause they had another, I can't think of the name. I don't like Wanda. Wanda. Wanda Sykes. Not no. Wanda Sykes. <laughs> what the hell you talking about? Yeah. I don't know the hell I was thinking about Wanda Sykes for, but I know who you talking about. Uh, and they, and they had uh her or him. I don't know. If that's a 
dude who's gay or, or that's a transgender. I don't know. I ain't never seen the person before. Oh, one? Yeah. Nah, that's a real woman. Man, you need to stop your goddamn shit. I never said... No, you, no, you, no, you, no, you, you no. Stop, no, bro. no, no. I... Fool, I told flame you I... Flame file. How did I flame file? I oh, never... Oh, you never seen it? No. But that's the woman that you remember I had showed you that interview a while back with Cat Williams. No, that one won her. I know who that was, but that ain't one. That, that's another person. Oh, I thought it was that person. And if you listen to it, that's why I said I don't know if that's a dude who's gay or a transgender. Oh, I, I thought you were. Then you the one who needs to shut the hell up. Let me finish, Damn nigga. Damn you, man. Because he, he or she, I don't know. I've never seen the person, so I don't know if she's in. he is in transition or what. I'm just stating the facts. That I, my facts, not yours. But in... in he was like, yo, and this is kind of crazy because I was like, really? This is a conversation we always have. They, like, 99, I think this is what he said. 99% of transgender don't date gay men. And I was like, that's the conversation that I used to always have. If you, like, I guess I get it because they feel like they are women. Yeah, and they lying to themselves. Yes. Yeah. Like, they, they, they feel like they are women, but... If you ain't like formerly over, he was out here looking for transgender men. Yes, and and, and that's why like, and, and when 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 Mario Lopez tell you that he was sucking him off, that was you were telling you that's what he was there to do. He wasn't mm-hmm. there for no woman parts. He was there for male parts. That's why he was there. And so you know, with him, that's but no, that was my thing with with them and gay dudes is. We know gay dudes are there for the man part, and then y'all still got the man part that counts. So, what is the thing about? And in, in, in the bigger thing, I'm talking that, about with transgenders. Yeah, and the yeah, bigger see, thing the, that the thing no, is, let me finish. That you want, like it's kind of crazy because you the transgender would say they are women, so they don't want to date gay dudes, but they're still dudes. It, I don't get that point. Like you understand why gay persons say, "Yo, I only date." I don't date women because I'm into dudes. But if you saying, yo, I'm a woman and you're into dudes, then it's gay not, dudes are still a dude. No, I don't... No, see... See... I'm even confusing myself. <laughs> no, I, I I get what you're saying. But no, see, what it is, Smoke, is this. They are attracted to straight men because it validates their womanhood to them. That's what makes them feel like a woman is when a straight man is attracted to them. But like I said before, no straight man will sleep with a transgender. Them guys are gay. They just ain't came out of the closet. They're not sure of their sexuality. But they be out here lying to themselves. This is why you hear them talking about, uh, man, all of these transgenders are being murdered when it's like, and they talking about this in the black community. Talking about straight black men are killing transgender. It's like 220,000 um, transgenders in the United States of America that's black. They identify as transgenders. Less than 20. Less than 20 transgenders are murdered every year. And most of them is in relationships. But they be telling you straight mm-hmm. men, straight black men is out here just murdering transgenders. No, and no, it's not the... true at all. I said these people, just like women, be involved in street life, prostitution. Women get killed. You talking about like black women, black women, white women, Latino women? They would love to have that stat that it was only twenty of them getting killed a year. But these people are involved with these type of uh, lifestyles, and they get killed because of it. Women get killed. In those lifestyle of prostitution. But they be out here now talking about, no, these transgender, no. No, 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 no. Less than 20 are getting killed. This is not a crisis that's going on. These people are dying at lower rates than any other group in the country. And they trying to put this on straight black men that somehow straight black men is out here just murdering. No, the dudes who be sleeping with them, like a couple of weeks ago, a transgender would kill. And they start peddling this straight black man trope. Come to find out that no, the dude was in a relationship with this transgender. He was an abusive dude, used to beat up. And some of the other people were clowning. And they tried to say, oh, 
he committed suicide because those black dudes was clowning him. That ain't why he committed suicide. He committed suicide because the community had been telling that transgender that she needed to get away from that dude because he was abusive. He was going to end up killing her. So she broke it off with him, and then he committed suicide. But they was on there trying to blame straight black men for this. When, like I said, 220,000 black people identifying as transgender, less than 20 of them is dying. But if you watch black people, black gay people, they act like this is an epidemic going on. Just And the people get these jobs working in these white media to spread this hatred of straight black men with this foolishness. But they never want to talk about data and numbers. Ever. And he out here trying to push this same thing, knowing they push this agenda as well, but knowing he got this in his past with these young girls. Crazy, man. All right, people, hit that like button, subscribe.